Hello there, welcome to a uh, Starfield ship review video. In this video we're going to be looking at the Crimson Fleet White. Obviously as the name says this is one of the Crimson Fleet's vessel. I believe this is the most imposing vessel the Crimson Fleet field. It's got numerous weapons and it's just a very menacing looking ship. So if you look at its stats, 900 fuel which is, yeah, you need that to lift a ship this big. It's got 853 hull. That's quite good. Generally, anything above six, seven hundred. If your shields go down, you have a bit of survivability. Cargo can carry just over 1k, which is pretty decent for a pirating vessel. C-class reactor, but it's uh, 18, which is quite low for a C-class reactor. So I'm hoping for for some speed. Crew of six, 19 light year jump range, almost 700 shield. Now, I do have a perk, which increases my shield slightly, but still, that's quite good. 700 shield is really, really good. Uh, it's got laser weapons, ballistics, and EM weapon 26, 43, and 1. Uh, it cost me around 230, 240k. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you exactly where I bought it. So, yeah, let's, let's go take a look at it, shall we? As per usual. Oh, wrong button. As per usual, I'm just going to do a quick photo mode just so you can see how imposing it is. Very long ship. It's got nice kind of it's just I like the kind of the split down the middle. Like the color, nice dark color. So yeah let's 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 go and check it out. This nice split prow design very uh reminiscent to uh kind of the spirit from Halo almost. Entryway in the middle uh we've seen this one on other Crimson Fleet ships I quite like it. A lot of lot of uh, headroom, so you can carry some, bring some big things in. We've got a door as opposed to a ladder, which is nice. Got something you might be interested in. And then immediately inside, we are in a. I'm not sure what this room is. It's some sort of cargo room. I haven't seen it before. It might be a. Uh, Galactic Star Yard, potentially. That's that's a really good legendary goddamn. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so this is a storage area here. We got all of our stuff. And then off here to the left, we have more storage. Just judging by the, the layout of it, I'm assuming this is all the same room. This is like a three. Yeah, I think this is a three by three. And then we have our ladder up here. Got multiple decks. On the second deck, instantly come up here and we have a little entryway with some storage options. That is the docking port, I believe, given that the door is red. We come through this door here and we have an infirmary with a pharmaceutical lab and a research lab here. And then if we look there, we'll go there in a minute. Just double checking. I believe that's the bridge to our left here. Open this up. We have this looks like a, a computer room area for the crew. I think this might just be like a, just a generic area for the crew to chill. Other side, we have an armory. Store all of your worldly possessions. And then we have a nice... Oh, that's actually unique. This is the first time I've seen an armory with uh, with storage, which is really nice. That's a cool room. We'll look there in a minute. This is a very nice, very imposing view here. We'll come in here. This is... Oh, my. Okay, we have a... This is a very luxurious crew quarter. This is the first one I've seen that has a television, which is very impressive. We've got a little... E uh, eating area there and I'm assuming there should be a kitchen. Yeah, we've got a kitchen in here. Ve this is really cool. I think this is probably my favorite like uh, mess area. It's 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 nice. It blends well together. And then our door here on the right. We've got a car another one by one cargo room. And that leads to I believe this is a living quarters here. Yep, yeah, we've got a door here. Yeah, this is a living quarters. Oh, I really, really like this living quarters. Really cool. It's only a single bed, though, but it's quite cozy. Got a lot of clutter, which makes it feel lived in. 
It's quite quite a big ship. A lot going on here. So if we head back the way we came through the Amory, and then we go this way, this door leads to another long corridor. This is a three by one, this is a three by one engine room here. Got a window on the left, and then on the right, yeah, more of just this is more tied to the engine room. This is quite cool. I love these engine rooms. It's great for adding detail to your ship. I believe we've been here. Yes, we have. This is the computer room. Okay, and then we've got one more floor to go. We're going to take a ladder this time. Just so I don't fail. And this is another crew cabin. We've got some uh, beds there. Got a ensuite bathroom, a couch. And we've got a door to the side here. Which leads to another floor, interesting, and another room here. This looks to be, this is a server room, I believe. Yeah, this is a computer server room. I don't know why I picked them up, because I, uh, it's just, yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, we got a computer room here with some storage and stuff. Keeping all your, your piracy stuff alive. And then, finally, I believe we're on the bridge. Yes, we're on the bridge. Okay, we've got a nice br big bridge here. We got a view at the back. That's cool. I think this is the first bridge where it has windows at the back. A lot of space here. A lot of seats. Although the seats don't really have anything of appeal to them. There's no computers or anything. They're just kind of sitting for the view. And then we have, obviously, the pilot seat in the middle. The helm. So, as you can see, very imposing ship. Very big. I believe this is probably one of the... This is the largest Crimson Fleet vessel. And one of the most expensive. Just looking at the like the, the sheer size, like the amount of engines needed, it's got four huge thrusters on the back. Which makes sense, given that it would be needed to lift this thing and give it some momentum. So we're just going to test some... Achieving orbit now. Okay, perfect. So, hips-wise... Uh, we can't do an awful lot, so I'm just gonna pull. So by default, we're 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 left with very little. We can have one pip. So weapon-wise, you got laser, very beefy laser, very beefy ballistic, and then the EM. So let's check the speed. Base max speed is 130. Boosted max speed is when oh, you get that ship. Boosted max speed is about 400, which isn't bad. It's probably slower on the slower side, so we're gonna do a quick roll test. For a C-class ship, this is very agile on the roll. Let's do a a yaw. Again, extremely agile vessel, and then we'll do a spin. Spin, yep. This is. It's probably the engine, but this is. This ship is very agile. If we start adding some, like, thrust to it, I pressed the wrong button. Very, very agile, right? So, bear with me. I'm just going to jump and show you where I found it. Okay, so here it is here in the Crimson Fleet. It's 254k for me. It'll probably be more expensive for you because uh, you might not have all the perks, or all the perks. You might not have the perk to make things cheaper. So it could be upwards of 300k. And this is in the Crimson Fleet home base. You talk to Jasmine Durand. You, there's a couple of quests you have to do before you can like buy stuff off them. If you try and come here when you're not friends with them, they will kill you. But yes, yeah, so it's in. It's on the key space station here in the Crix system. As you can see, there's Crix there. It's got some state Cheyenne in your roof and stuff. But yeah, that was the review. Thanks for watching, guys.